previously on Emergency Response Liberty County. Okay, so this is what we know so far. Both victims were killed by the same person, and both victims knew each other from a young age. Chris, have we had anyone come forward with information? No, we haven't had any information. Alright, thank you Chris. So we have no idea who is doing this. If this killer strikes again, he'll be classified as a serial killer. We can't let that happen. There has been another victim. What? Not another one? Sadly, yes. Where is it? Is there any witnesses? It happened in the suburbs and there's no witnesses. Alright everyone, let's head there. Alright, so, another victim. That is not good. Because that's him now classified as a serial killer. And that's not what he wanted, especially just before Halloween. It's not a very nice thing to happen. So, let's go and head there. So it's somewhere in the housing suburb. So that's all we really know. We, we, we haven't told you exactly what it is, but I think, yep, i just seen some um, police tape and stuff. So I think there's some um, people already here. Um, so let's go and pull up. Uh, pull up. Just pull up right here. And we'll jump out. This isn't far from the first victim, actually, so this isn't good. This isn't good. Hello, officer. Hi sir, where is the body? In the back of my van. Alright, where was he killed? Just at the door. Thank you. I'll go and take a look. Alright, so let's go and take a look over here. That's a lot of blood on that door. Let me just get my flashlight out and have a look. The EMS guy's here as well. Do we know what was used to kill him? It was a shotgun right to the chest. Alright. So it does look like it was a shotgun. Definitely, it's kind of the blood pattern and it looks like it went right through him. So, that's not too good, because if our vict if our murderers went from using a knife to a shotgun, he can do a lot more damage. So, I'm going to go and speak again to the officer and find out if we, ha if we know if it was the same um, person or not. Because it, uh, it's, it's not his motive. It, it's, not, it, it's not using the same um, things as he was last time, so this could be liked, it could not be liked, we don't know. Do we know if it was the same killer? No, we don't know if it's the same killer. Did he have an ID on him? Yes, here it is. Hmm, Danny Duncan. Do we know if he has any relatives? He has a stepsister. She works at the gas station in the city. Chris and Matthew, you come with me to the gas station. Alright, so we're going to go to the gas station and speak to this um, victim's stepsister. And hopefully they'll have some information that might connect this to one of the other murders. But let's just hope that they're not connected. But if they are connected, it might help us with a lead. We don't really know. So, we're currently on our way to go and see Danny's stepsister, who works in the gas station just outside the tunnel. So, we're not too far from there, um, because we're in the middle of the tunnel right now. So, it should be, once we come out, just right, it should be just on our right. So, yep, here it is. So, let's just go and pull in here. Now, that is a very pink car I'm seeing there. And yep, I can see his stepsister working away behind the, um, at the tills. So I'm just going to walk in now and go and speak to them. Hello, I'm Commander Snowball of the RCPD. Are you Danny's stepsister? Hey there. Yes. We have some terrible news. Oh no. D Danny was killed last night. Wait, what? We were wondering if you could help us. We think his murder is linked to multiple other killings. Oh. Okay. Have you seen any of these men before? Yeah, they were friends with my stepbro and they worked together. Do you know where they worked? 
Yes, the tool shop. Okay, thank you for your help. So all our victims seem to have worked at the um, tool store. So we're going to head there now. And we're going to go and speak to our owner, hopefully. And we'll hopefully be able to shed some light on this situation. Alright, so we're just about to pull up into the um, tool store. So we're in a car here, so hopefully that means somebody is here. And yes, I can see somebody up the back there, and we're going to speak to them. Hello? Police? Hello? Yes, we are the police. I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Three of my workers aren't coming to work. I think we could help you with that. Huh? And how? That is what we were here about. Oh well. Your three workers are victims of a serial killing. What? This got to be a joke. No. Sorry, we are serious. Oh god. Is there any way I can help? Yes. Have they seemed off recently? No, they seemed perfectly fine. They worked good the last time they were here. Did they mention anyone to you? No, they haven't mentioned anyone. Thank you for your help. No problem. Got to get back to work. Okay. So. All three of them did work here. They haven't seemed off and they haven't mentioned anyone. So, I don't really know what to think about this. But hopefully we can catch our, our murderer um, very soon. Oh, we're just getting a call, so we're just going to go and pull back up here. Let's, let's answer it. Hello? Hi. I saw a killing. When? Last week. In the tunnel. Okay. Come to the police station immediately. 